What's up YouTube, it's your boy Junior, aka Semi, and welcome to Semi2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, app reviews, all of your live streaming and live gaming and everything else in between. So if you like all that stuff plus more, then stay tuned to this channel. And before we get started with this great new video, if you haven't done so already, right here, the subscribe button right here, click on that. And once you click on that, you make sure you click right next to it, the little bell right here. Enable bell notifications so you get notified for every single video I come out with and or anything I come out else I come out with. As well as don't forget to like the video there and share it to your all your social media platforms. Are you guys looking for some awesome and great IPTV service? And come and check out Web TV at mysimpleeasylive.com and look at this great website. Look at all the stuff they have to offer. And the plans are starting at $12 a month for two connections. What more can you ask for? But wait, let's check out the APK. Look at this great looking APK. You got live TV, movies, and TV series. And let's check out the lineup for live TV. Look at all these channel genres they have available. Look at all this. Why wait any longer? Get your service today and you won't be disappointed. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support you guys show the channel. Remember, when I continue supporting the channel, all you got to do is like all my videos, share my videos, comment all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time I come out with great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss a thing. All right, so as you can read from the title of the video, today I'm going to do an unboxing and installation of this new product I got, which are my core sales. SP120, so 120 millimeter triple fan setup from my setup here. And you might ask, why did you get new fans? Okay, so the reason I got new fans is because two of my fans are down. One on my main PC and one on my second PC, like you see here, I have a, the one of the exhaust fans out. So what I'm gonna do is Throw those two fans away and the triple fans I have in there, I, I'll leave one off as an extra one and put one of them in here. And since I already have RGB fans for my uh, all-in-one cooling system for my CPU, I got matching fans for it as well. So now both sides of the PCs will be RGB. So many people just ch change their, arm, their fans just to get RGB in it. I didn't want to get RGB ones, I just want to leave it as is, but since I had to replace the fan, I said, you know what, might as well spend the extra couple bucks and make it all light up, the same fans and everything. And why did I choose these fans over the other fans that look like these, but like half the price? For two reasons. One, is Corsair. I want all my fans to match. And these are the exact fans that are my radiator for the CPU coolant. So that these are exact same fans. So I want to keep that the same. Two is because these have RGB controllers. So with the RGB module that they have inside here, I can connect it to my motherboard and I can control the lighting and everything I want off the app on my computer or on my phone. So that's the main reason so I can have it all connected all together so I can control my RGB RAM sticks with this and all my fans all one app. So that's the main reason why I got these. Yes, these are more expensive, double the price, sometimes triple the price, but I got these at a decent price. I think I got these for 90 bucks. They usually run for like 120. Um, so, but I'm very happy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open these up and then after I open them and show you what they come inside, I'm going to go ahead and take you over to my computer and you can see me install them and I'll show you which fan is messed up and which ones I'm taking out. All right. So let's go open this up. All right, let's see, open this up here. First time I'm opening it up. So once I'm opening this up here, guys, as you see, it's all covered up. So I gotta pop these out. I never opened this up before. So here is something. So let's check out what this is. I think this is the module. Oh. Usually I could cut it, but since this is taped to the inside, I gotta take the tape off. All right. All right, so I'm gonna put it like that. All right, so yeah, so that's what I thought. This was the module. Oh, the module is a lot, a lot smaller than I thought. All right, so this right here is the module. So you can see, so this connects to one of my power cables on my power supply. So it gives it power. 
and this connects to the USB so it connects with the computer and I can read it off my IQ software. And this will be mounted on my PC on the back side of it so it's out of sight, out of mind. All right, so here on the sides you have the plugs in to put in the, the fans in. So what I like about this is you can put up to six fans on one control module. I have two already installed on the PC and I'm gonna install three. So all three lights, I mean all five lights will work on one module. So this is gonna be awesome for me and it works a lot better. So I can disconnect the USB ones I have connected already. So it's gonna work awesome. So this is the module. Comes with a double sided tape on here so I could just put it in the, somewhere in the back so it can stay still and it works awesome. Very long enough cables to run everything properly and we're all set, all right? See what else is coming inside here. Um, you have the manual. Tells you how to run it, how to connect and everything. I already know how to do all that. You got the warranty guide and all these other forms. And then you have, they come with the screws for all three fans. So four screws for each fan. So I don't know if you can see it here closely. I don't know if it focuses in, I don't know too well, but uh, it's a little hard to focus, it's still in the plastic, but each bag has four screws. So see, you see four screws and I got three bags in here. I feel like I'm a dope dealer or something, <laughs> the way I'm holding it. So yeah, so you got the screws for all three fans, so that's good. I got all the stuff I need for that in here. Okay, and the remaining inside this box are the fans itself, as you see. Let me bring it up closer, you can see. So you got one, two, three. So I'm just gonna pull out once so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. This is exactly the fan I have inside my PC already. So I'm gonna take this out so you guys can see what it really looks like with all the cables. All right. All right, so this is the fan with the wires, and as you can see, it comes with two wires. Let me bring it up closer so you guys can see. It comes with two wires. One to connect to your motherboard for the fan itself, and one's for the RGB. This, con this plug right here will connect to the module on that I just showed you earlier. So those are two, two plugs. And basically, I install them and that's it. And like I said, these are 120 millimeter fans. It, my, my case could take up to I think 220 and even a 180. I know 180 for sure, but a uh, one uh, or 160. I forget the numbers, the exact numbers. Uh, but I don't know. It might have take up to 220 if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I can't remember. So right now, I showed you everything in the box, how to connect it. Now we're gonna do switch over to my computer. I'll show you what's going on and what we're gonna do next. All right, let's switch over. All right guys, so you see right there that I have the two fans that's RGB and those are my Corsair from my all-in-one cooling CPU coolant. So that's what it looks like. The other fans that I have connected, it's on this side. I don't know if you can really tell. So it's because it's dark in there. But these two fans down here, let me bring it closer for you guys can see. These two friends down here are working, right here, but the one up here, one up here is not working at all. So that's why I wanna go ahead and replace that one. But since I'm gonna replace that one, I must just put all three of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so you can see what's going on. So that's what it looks like right now. See how dark it is there? And then you see the other RGB lights, fans there with the RAMs, and every, so everything's gonna be controlled all together in one software. So that's gonna be looking cool. And what we're gonna do is we have to remove the front panel that's right there. We're gonna remove it from there and then unscrew it everything there. But I'll show you everything from my POV view so you can see how everything is, all right? So coming right back. All right guys, so as you can see, my PC still on. We're gonna go ahead and shut it down. I already started a sequence for it to shut down on my end over here. And once this is fully shut down, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the plug in the back. So no power actually is not going in. So give it a second for it to shut off. And once that's done, 
we're gonna go ahead and pop this off. I can pop this off now while this is still shutting down. Let me go ahead and shut it. Let me pop this off for you guys. So that's how you turn it off. That's how you take off the front cover. And this is the filter, which I need to clean. As you can see, it's a, it's a little dirty. And you can see right here, prime example, you see no filter going on top, like no dirt on top, or you only see on these two fans, because these are the only two fans that are working. So I'm gonna clean this off as well, but just to show you that only two fans out of three are working. All right. And okay, so you see the power's off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug it. And now I'm gonna take off the fans. This is the bad one, and this is the NZXT one that's all bad. I don't know what happened to it, but this one came with my OH510 um, case that I replaced all my components off of there into here. So that's why I got this new case. This has a better airflow. So that one's garbage. Take that one out. I'm gonna take, remove the other ones. All three fans are out. And now I can see this nice. Now I gotta open this back panel up here, back here, so I can hook up the module and then run the wires in the back so you can have a clean look. So I gotta loosen this up here in the front. I don't want to bring down the, the case just because I have all my wires running on top and it's a, it's a big of a pain to do so. So I basically just moved the PC up a little bit more and I just unscrewed the, the back panel off. And I'm actually going to take out this um, USB port in here that I don't want anymore. So it's a good chance I did. Cause I never shut off my computer, I shut off like once a week just to keep it cooled down. But normally I don't, so. All right, so now I'll just remove the back panel just to make it easier for me. All right, and I'm gonna actually remove this USB one here. I don't need this one anymore. Cause I have, I have enough USBs. I don't, I'm not gonna be connecting anything else. I, I put this USB port in here in the first place because I didn't have enough space to put all my ports in. See, I had like an extra five USB 3.0 plugs in here connected to my PCI. Um, so since I don't need it cause I got all my wires running up here and then I got a 10 port 3.0 back here that runs all my peripherals and all that stuff I have back there. So I don't need that anymore. So I'm actually going to put this wireless Wi-Fi chip in here that I, I ran out of port. So that's the main reason why I wanted to take it out as well. So I'm going to put this in here. It was a being a little, little pain about to put it in there, but I got it in there. So I replaced that with that, so it's fine. I can barely get back here anyway, so that port is perfect where it is. All right, so now I'm gonna take this ex extra wire out because I don't need it anymore. Unplug it because I, I need that for, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the port on the other PC though. That's what I'm gonna do though. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the module in, make life a little bit easier for me. And I don't remember where the other fan, the other ones for the fans are at. Now, like I said, these are going to be intakes, so I have to put them like this, so I'm going to put them like this, but the other way around. So I'm going to put this one. I 
I'm going to use the same screw because they're all the same screws. I'm going to just save the other screws for in case I ever need an extra pair of screws or something. All right, so I ran all the wires back there already. I'm all set with the wires. I just gotta close this up now. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. I'll be right back. All right, cleaned it all up. Nice, looking nice and clean. Put this back in here. You have this go sometimes. There you go. And now put the front cover back in. Simple as that. Now we turn it off to see the final product. Oh, I gotta plug it back in. <laughs> So these two are lighting up. This one's not, not lighting up yet. But all three fans are working on this side. They're just not lit up yet. But it's quite all right. Because I think I have to set up an IQ system. We're gonna go, go ahead and set that up. But now, I'm not gonna show you setting that up or anything. Just wanna show you all the fans are working now. Getting air to all of them. And we're all set there. Now let's go and give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, so we finally installed everything. Everything looks good, everything's running, everything's perfect, love it. It's really with my IQ system and everything, so I'm happy for all that. So are these worth it? Absolutely, in my opinion, they are. But that's just me talking. You guys might think differently. Um, and then, so now all my lighting on my RGB can be controlled on my computer with the IQ software. So that's including my keyboard, my mouse, my RAM and my fans and my CPU cooler as well. So I'm happy with that guys. So this was a great buy. So I'm glad you were here with me to do this journey and installing these new fans on my PC. If you guys enjoyed this video and everything I had to do today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure everybody's aware of everything we do on this channel. So make sure you hit that share button. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of the video, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, enable bell notification so you get notified every time I drop great videos like this one or when I go live. And trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss a thing. And that's do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Junior, aka Semi, signing out from Semi 2 Tech. Peace.